What's going on gamers? Today we are going to go over how to transfer builds from world to world using world edit. It's happened to all of us. We start building a server, we make a wonderful world, and then for one reason or another, the world we're playing on won't suffice. Whether you're changing maps, updating the world, or just moving from single player to a server, it's hard to give up all of the hard work you put into your builds. But did you know there is a way to completely transfer these buildings to another world using world edit? And it's actually fairly easy to do, so let's get started. Obviously, the first thing you're going to want to do is download and install either the plugin or mod version of world edit to match the world the buildings are on and the version of the world that you're going to be moving the build to. We do have a complete guide on how to do this that I will have linked down below. Once that's done, the first thing we need to go over is creating a schematic from the build in your original world. When you enter the world, find your build and obtain a wooden ax to mark the positions. First, you'll want to find the corner of the build that you're wanting to copy and left click this block to create the first position. Make sure you're doing this at the lowest block that you want to copy, so if there are blocks that you want to copy underground, be sure to dig to at least that coordinate. Next, move over to the opposite corner of the build and build up to above what you're trying to copy. Use blocks to build yourself up high enough and then you can right click to set the second position. After these two positions are set, you're going to want to copy the build. First, before you run the command, make sure you're standing in a place that's easy to remember for when you paste later. I always like to stand right in front of my build on ground level. After this, you can run the double forward slash copy command, which should then in turn tell you the biomes and the blocks that are affected. Once that's done, it's time to save the schematic to your computer. To do this, type the command schematic save, and then create a name that will be easy for you to remember. So for this one, I'm going to use cottage. Press enter and the schem file should be saved. Now here is something to keep in mind. If you're saving this build from a single player world, you'll be able to find these files by going into your Minecraft files from the launcher and then heading to config, world edit, and schematics. If you're saving these builds from a server, the process is going to be similar, but you're going to have to get in contact with the server owner to get them because these files will be saved in the server's files instead of on your own client. Okay, before we get into moving the build, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our other tutorials. Now that you have the skem file, whether from the server or the client, you can move it to your new world. Let's go over moving it to a single player world first. To move this build into a single player world, you're going to have to have the skem file saved in the schematic folder I was talking about earlier. If you save the build from another single player world, it should already be there. But if your file came from a server, you're going to have to transfer the file into the folder yourself. For a server, you're going to want to head to the schematic folder on your server. Head to the FTP file access, log in, you'll head to config, world edit, and then schematics. Press upload and transfer all of your skem files here, wait for them to upload, and then restart the server. Once the files are in the folder, whether they're on your client or the server, load up your game and enter into the world you want to transfer the build to. Find where you want to place this file, making sure to keep in mind where you stood before you copied, and run the command schematic load and the name of your file. Once you see this is loaded, all you have to do is run paste and you'll see your schematic come to life in the new world. If for some reason the build wasn't placed where you want it to be, you can always use the undo command to delete the build and try again. You can also use rotate and the degree of rotation if you need the building to face a different way. That's it, and now you should have your old build in your new world. This was a lifesaver for me as a big Minecraft builder because I didn't want to have to recreate all of the builds I took so much time creating, so I hope it helped you in the same way it helped me. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.